Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. This morning we got a little bit of rain. That was round one. Right now, round two. There's going to be a round three overnight, right? And four and five mm. tomorrow. Whoa, oh, geez. This is like it's a heavy, be a busy it's night. A heavyweight bout. A uh, busy 24 hours, but hey, we had that break in the humidity and the rain the last couple of days, yeah. so now it's turning busy. We've got some pretty intense severe weather in parts of the region. Most of us actually have sunshine, especially if you're in Malone or, say, Montpelier and Barrie, though the clouds are now moving into central Vermont. Here's some good news, though, at 619, only one severe thunderstorm warning left. There will be more overnight, but for now, a little bit of a breather for many of us. Just rain here from Enosburg to Mount Mansfield and Stowe, occasionally a lightning strike. But the lone severe thunderstorm warning is here for Lake Placid until 630. It extends to the east over Keene for another 11 minutes or so. And then a lot of lightning here from Westport to Ferrisburg. But it is not considered a severe thunderstorm. Remember, severe means either wind or hail, not lightning. Of course, the lightning can still cause a lot of damage and be deadly, so you have to respect it. But that is not why the severe thunderstorm warnings are issued. If we just look at the last half hour of lightning, we're talking about 200 strikes from Lake Placid over to the southern end of Lake Champlain. This is a lot for our region. We don't usually see this much. And if we just focus from Westport across the lake over the Dead Creek into Ferrisburg and Virgins, 120 lightning strikes. That is a prolific lightning storm right now, even though there's not a severe thunderstorm warning. Got an email from Paul in Saranac Lake of 1.35 inches of rain, and that heavy duty swath of moisture over an inch goes through Lake Placid over towards Lewis in Elizabethtown. And then there's another pocket here from Mariah to Crown Point to Bridport. So no flash flood warnings, that is good news, but there can be some localized flooding in those areas. Had a picture of the small hail and Lake Clear, that's near Saranac Lake from Patricia. And look at this stormy view from our Burlington camera out towards Juniper Island. We've got the cranes there. Not a lot of heavy weather in Burlington, but there is some rain and an occasional lightning strike, 72 degrees. And temperatures are down in a lot of spots where it's rain. Saranac has 69 right now, but we're still talking mid 70s for the Upper Valley Point South. So all of this thunderstorm action shifts into central and eastern Vermont by later this evening. And then there's another round there, midnight, 1 o'clock, right over the Champlain Valley. That might wake you up in the middle of the night. There may even be some strong wind embedded in these cells. And tomorrow, everything slowly shifts to the south. That's because we've got a cold front coming through. So if you're in southern Vermont or parts of New Hampshire, your main round of severe thunderstorms comes through tomorrow in the afternoon. And then we clear out for the weekend, both days only thing is there's a little bit of smoke very high in the sky, so it won't impact air quality, but there may be a slight hazy appearance here over the next couple of days. But some great news on Lake Champlain. Since the big flood, the lake has come down now over a half foot. It's sitting at 98.21 feet, so way above average for August standards, but it's nice to see that drop off accelerating here as we get deeper into August. So impact weather tomorrow with the continued thunderstorms, some of them severe, but a tremendous weekend. Both days beautiful, not very humid, upper 70s to about 80. Looks like showers come back later Monday and linger for Tuesday and Wednesday, but nice weather with sunshine Thursday and Friday of next week. And look at all of those high temperatures. If you thought it was too cool a few days ago, well, we're right back up close to 80. Alice, Brian. All right, Tyler.